Today I'm going to be making some crepes for Mother's Day. We're going to do a keto version as well as a carnivore version. Hi, I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com. Thanks for coming over to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hit subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Okay, so I'm gonna make some crepes. They're pretty simple. I don't use any flour in them at all, like almond flour or, or coconut flour. Although it is based on a crepe recipe that's been on my blog since 2014, where I do use some coconut flour, but you don't have to. They turn out fine without. And I'm also going to use some of my tallow that I rendered myself. I'll, I'll link that uh, video below. I'm going to use two tablespoons of tallow in this recipe. So it's going to be eggs, tallow, a little bit of cream, pinch of salt, and that's pretty much it. So that in itself is carnivore. I'm going to whip some cream. And again, if you don't add anything to it, it's carnivore. For the non-carnivore people in the family, there's gonna be some berries added. This is a really nice brunch type recipe to make. Mother's Day is coming up. And so that's usually when I start pulling out recipes like this because crepes are an easy kind of, they're easy, but yet you can make them special for Mother's Day. Hopefully you're all lucky enough to still have a mom around. My mom actually lives here with us. It can be challenging sometimes because she's 84 with Alzheimer's. You know, it's kind of nice to make a special Mother's Day deal um, if, if you can. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna start by mixing up the, the batter. First, I need to soften the tallow. Uh, this, it's at room temperature, but it's too firm to, uh, just mix up with the eggs. I'm going to be mixing them in the blender and we want it to be not hot, but liquid. So I'm gonna do that in the microwave. I think this will be about a minute. So I'm back with my tallow. It started to melt, but it's not quite melted. I did that for one minute and I'm just going to stir it until the rest of it melts because I don't, I don't want it to be steaming hot. Just want it to be warm. If you're keto, you can certainly add other things to the batter. You could, like I said, add a teaspoon of coconut flour. You could add some cinnamon sweetener if you like. I like to make them so that everybody can have them and then keto and non-keto people can add what they want. So I'm gonna give it the finger test. Okay, so it's just warm to the touch. It's not hot, so we're good there. Get my blender here and I'm using three eggs for this. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of cream, heavy cream, and my two tablespoons of melted tallow. I'm just using a, um, one of these small personal size blenders. You can use a magic bullet. You can use a Vitamix. Whatever, whatever blender you have. You could also just whisk it. I just, for the crepes, I like the batter to be super, super blended um, and thin. That's why I use the blender. Just using just a pinch of Redmond's Real Salt. I mean, that's probably optional. It's just my preference. Just let that go for a couple minutes. Okay, so while the bat, I like to let the batter rest for a couple of minutes before I make the crepe. So while that's happening, I'm going to whip the cream. Um, I have my bowl in the refrigerator and my beaters I just took out of the freezer. So speaking of mothers, this could be an old wives tale, but my mother always used to freeze her beaters and chill the bowl. She said it whipped better. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I bet a lot of you have things that your mother did and you just copy them and you're not really sure if they're legit or not, but you just do it anyways. So this is one of those things that I do. The heavy cream, I'm not going to add anything to it. It's just going to be as, as is.
Okay, that's enough. You don't want to over whip the cream um, because then it starts to turn into something that resembles more like butter frosting or, or whatever. You just want it to be light and fluffy. I'm going to put it in the fridge while we make the crepes. Okay, so I, I, my favorite pan for making crepes is this pan because it's really heavy. It's got a flat bottom, it's solid. So this is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to put it on medium fire here. Um, you'll have, whatever kind of stove you have, you'll have to adjust. You don't want the pan too hot. Otherwise everything starts to curl and the butter browns too fast. Um, I probably use, I use about that much butter for each, each one. This is, this pan is not a non-stick pan. I mean, this technique is going to be different for every pan depending on what you have but hopefully this will give you an idea so the other thing is um, to use about a quarter cup of batter for each for each crepe doesn't have to be exact but it's nice when they're a uniform size i think that's probably okay you can see that actually Maybe even a little bit less. You can see that some of the tallow clumps up a bit. I'm going to use just a very scant quarter cup per crate. And then I try to help it retain a round shape with my spatula. We're going to make it look pretty later. I'm going to tip it slightly to get some of the batter over here on this edge. I tend to um, ruin the first one, but depends on how picky you are. Once it starts to get bubbly, it's kind of like cooking a pancake. You know, you're waiting for the bubbles to come. It's a little bit thinner than a pancake. So then once it looks like everything's going there, just got to try to shimmy your your spatula underneath so that you don't it doesn't break when you flip it sometimes it helps to have two and then you can really get under there okay it's not perfect but it's pretty good just give that a moment all right i'm gonna Put that over there and go on to the next one. Crepes? You could get yourself a crepe pan and then this would be a little less challenging. They should just slide right out of the pan like that. So we have our crepes. They're all a fairly uniform size. Some of them look nicer than the others. They're, it's a little tricky without a crepe pan, but um, you know, it works. So if you are carnivore, um, it's pretty basic. This is, there's no sweetener in these. This is just uh, eggs and tallow, basically, a little bit of cream. You can, you can just do something like this. You can fill it up with some cream Again, this is unsweetened. And you can just roll it up and eat it like that. And I promise you, it's really good. It's really tasty. I'm just gonna put that one aside for a minute. Now you could also get fancy and put it in piping bags and make it all fancy. Um, or you could even just, you know, line a little bit on top like so. For the 
keto people or or non keto it doesn't matter they can be they can be non keto um, we've got some fresh berries here everybody will like this whether they're keto or not or not if they're just regular people who like their their berries um, you know my mom loves fresh berries so this would be something that she would like put a little cream in there roll it up it'll be delicious I'll make one with raspberries two of these with the amount of berries that I'm using and the amount of cream that I'm using is about four net carbs for those of you who are doing keto just in case you're wondering that information is also on the blog post that I'll link for these particular berry or these particular raspberry crepes. Again, a piping bag would be nice to kind of make this look extra fancy, but this is just, I'm just showing you the, you know, the potential here. So that would be for everybody else. And that would be for the carnivore people. I'm loading up the last two as carnivore. Um, oh, I did want to show you what else I would do for my mom's version, just to make it extra fancy. I have some powdered swerve here, and this just gives a nice little touch, a fine mesh screen, just, just a touch of this, and uh, just, just do something like that. Makes it look extra fancy to present for a happy Mother's Day breakfast. So there, there you have it. This is the carnivore version. I actually really like these. I find that the combination of the crepes with a little bit of cream on them, to me, I don't, it doesn't need any sweetener. It's actually quite nice the way it is. The, the cream is naturally sweet. Mm -hmm. It was really good. If you're newly carnivore, you could put a few grains on top if you really can't live with the idea of them being not sweet. But, you know, try to try to get rid of some of the sweetness, some of the sweeteners in, in your life, um, because they, for me and a lot of other people, they do tend to trigger more cravings. I really enjoy this just, just as it is, so give it a try. So here we go, that's the keto version with the berries of the crepes. This is the carnivore version. The basic crepe recipe is the same, procedure is the same. It's, the difference is just how you dress it up. Mmm, did your mom used to let you do this? <laughs> Blame her. All right, stop. Now I'm gonna have to, I gotta get back in the zone, zone, zone now. Mmm, did your mom used to let you do this? Say, did you ever see your mom? Mmm.